Hey everyone, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to get that filtered bass synth sound that Drake, The Weeknd, J. Cole uses. Pretty much everyone uses this filtered synth sound that kind of underlines or gives an undertone to the track. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I've been getting many questions on it, so let's get straight to the tutorial. Uh, so we're going to use a software instrument track and we are going to use Logic's ES2 synthesizer. So the first thing we're going to do is going to go ahead and bring in tutorial settings, which is off my screen, and bring in analog saw init. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our oscillators. The first oscillator is going to be a sine wave, and the second oscillator is going to be a sawtooth, which is already preset right here. And we're going to bring this mixer value down to about 50-50, and we're going to leave this one off because we don't need a third oscillator. And we get something like this. Uh, we're going to get the sound shortly, and we might adjust this later on as well. So under our first oscillator, we're going to drop it down two octaves. And our second oscillator, we are going to drop it down one octave. And then we're going to detune each one ever so slightly. So let's do six cents, and let's do three cents here. And we get something like this. Next thing you're going to want to do is go up to this section over here, click Legato, and bring this up to 16 voices, and then turn on Unison. Next thing, go to your left hand side of the plugin right here, the analog side, and we're going to add in some analoginess or analogness, and bring this up to about 3 o'clock, so we're going to add a lot of it. So as you can see, we're getting that sound right there. A lot of times the notes blend into each other or kind of bends into each other. So we're going to use our glide feature right here and just bring it up to about 9 o'clock. So the notes can glide into each other. Now let's go ahead and get our filter on because this sound is a filtered synth. So uh, we need some filters in there. So let's go ahead and bring uh, this to about 50% here. And... Uh, Let's filter out the highs. I'm also going to take this out so it's not as so stabby. So let's bring this down as well to about one o'clock. So it is very clicky. So we're going to go down to our ADSR right here. And just going to push this up a little bit so it's not such a clicky start. All right, that clicky is gone. Let's pull this up so we can actually hear what's going on. Let's go ahead and adjust our mixing value right here. So if you want a more subtone, push this back back to the sine wave if you want more of a raw tone or edgy tone bring it closer down to our saw guy right here all right so i'm going to leave it like that i'm just going to lower our sustain a little bit Maybe lower our attack ever so slightly. Sorry guys, I'm just making minor adjustments so we get the sound a little bit more accurate. Alright, so that is pretty much your sound right there. The next thing you want to do is just bring in an EQ and filter out some of your lows. So we're just going to bring this to about 50 hertz. We don't want all that, just cut out all the lows there. 
and then next thing we do we can add in some reverb if you like of course all this is just salt and pepper I mean you can add what you like to your sound to make it your own but we'll leave it with a long reverb uh, what you can do as well add in some distortion if you wanted to or you can add in some drive I personally don't like it with the drive So that is pretty much your sound right there. I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a preset for you guys so you could download it and manipulate it to make it your own. You can play around with the mix between the two oscillators and play around with the two filters right here to get more of the sound that you're looking for and to match the track that you're working on. So you can find the link to download this preset in the more info section below this video. If you do have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. If you are new to I'm a Music Mogul, remember to hit that subscribe button as more great videos are always coming. And as usual guys, remember to head on over to I'mamusicmogul.com to join the I'm a Music Mogul community and share and upload your sounds and music online to the world and maybe send me a link to let me listen to your tracks as well. That's it for me guys. I'll see you on the next video. Talk to y'all soon. Later. Peace.